Hello, everybody. Good evening. So, I hope everything is going well for you guys, ladies and gentlemen. And today we're going to talk about the technology that is called Skyway and is basically a second level pre stress string transportation technology. And then we're going to concentrate on the well, on the main aspects, why it is here to stay and why it will conquer the world and will be the technology that is going to be widely used, is going to be widely used all around the world as we are witnessing it at the moment, since we have many mm, demonstration and certification centers already, actually two of them, one in Belarus and the other one in United Arab Emirates in Sarja, to be specific. So today we are going to focus more on the technological aspects and then uh, in the future we are going to talk about the news as well, what has been done so far and then where we are going. But maybe I will mention just this one that, uh, that in the end of last year, so about half a year ago, uh, Anatoly Nitsky, Dr. Anatoly Nitsky, who is the creator and then well, the author of this technology, uh, said that we have four signed contracts already, so there will be mm, commercial projects uh, in the world soon. It just takes some years time because all this pro processing of, of these new tracks and, and before we can really start digging up the ground and uh, well putting the supports there and then building a track up high, it takes many years of, of time to, to get there. But all right, so uh, yes, so about technology. So my name is Michael, I'm from Estonia and I have been an Skyway uh, an investor for Skyway about, about four years by now. And also I'm an active member of Skyway community and active partner and I'm, I'm uh, conducting these webinars as well uh, worldwide. So thank you again for coming to my webinar and then uh, maintaining your presence here it's it's amazing to see that you you guys are here all to to see and and learn more about this technology but all right without any further introduction let's get to business about 100 years ago was this painting on a slide mm, done or made and uh, the description of this painting or the title is our future in 100 years so now it's about 100 years later and we can say that well we have all these uh, well first level infrastructures uh, already built we have um, we have awesome well you can say we have is awesome uh, awesome uh, technologies already implemented in our societies so what i mean by that is that we have uh, cars we have tramways trolley buses uh, trains in bigger cities like paris new york rome there is also an underground transportation system which is well metro basically subway so we have uh, covered uh, the underground level, we have the first level infrastructure, but the problems, the challenges still occur. They even grow because uh, the population grows inside the cities. Most of the jobs are located inside the cities, so people go there despite they want it or not, but they have to go there and therefore it is absolutely important governments for governments to, to construct these new roads or construct new possibilities uh, for the infrastructure to develop even further mm, but for that to to construct new roads in the cities we just cannot tear down uh, old ancient buildings and then instead of those build new asphalt road but we need better solutions and then uh, and one of the best solutions today is to go to the second level because basically it's it's not yet conquered or, or there there is basically no 
logistics whatsoever on the second level so up high so therefore skyway is absolutely at the right time in the right place and then therefore it's it's amazing all right let's see further mm, it's loading here yeah so it's basically the next slide is is describing or showing the skyway itself it's beautiful isn't it but all right um we have tried it as a humankind we have already tried and and already went to to the second level with our transportation systems uh, as you can see on this slide at the moment and on the right side you can see the um, monorail i will show you the larger picture here as well so basically monorail is a technology that is already been in use for for decades and it's one of the most similar ones to Skyway by its outlooks or, or by its by it, well the idea of it. It has these supports, these massive supports, of course, with this technology. Then the track structure itself is quite massive. So and the average speeds are not that fast as well as with Skyway. But here you can see uh, you can see the um, comparison between these two transportation technologies our technology which is USD Unisky string technology and monorail and then first of all of course the track length and what is the main idea of the um, Skyway team as well he, well for example if we want to conquer the world or we want to be number one or as Unitsky said, that at least 50% of, of the second level string, second level transportation systems are or the need is covered by Skyway technology. So uh, we can say, ah, yes, for that one, we want to build a transnet, which is a network of uh, Skyway tracks all around the world. So there will be tens of thousands of kilometers of uh, track structures all around the world so we can go from uh, one place to another only with Skyway if we want to or from one country to another across the globe basically of course depending on the oceans and so on there there are some difficulties and uh, and it's it's mostly it's uh, meant for mainlands but it's possible of course to well the rivers or lakes or oceans um, at some point are not obstacle as well it's it's possible to build these plateaus or special um, supports on the oceans as well so they could um, hold hold the track uh, structure high enough to to go over the water as well but uh, all right let's get back to this uh, slide we are uh, here uh, talking at the moment mm, the speed maximum speed is uh, inside the city with skyway it's up to 150 kilometers per hour between cities with a high speed transportation model we have it's possible to go up to 500 kilometers per hour so it's much much faster than monorail and itself uh, well, all the vehicles are uh, autonomous so it means there is no driver it's self-driving there is a special of course controller room um, or the center um, on the mainland through which it's possible to control all the tracks or at least some uh, some parts of the tracks depending on the logistics and then on the well uh, what they have to do um, in specific region but yeah so we do not have to hire drivers who, who are constantly there on the cabin or in the cabin as well with the passengers then the traffic interval and traffic capacity points there are also very important to understand because uh, with Skyway we have we have the possibility to depart from the station after each four to five seconds of course we have to understand that people need more time than five seconds to get on board or get off board so mostly the um, the challenge of timing or the time frame comes from from that aspect i just mentioned but nevertheless it's it's possible to well 30 seconds or 40 seconds uh, i think uh, myself it's is enough for people to get on board and get off board so it's much faster anyhow than 5 to 10 minutes that people normally have to wait for another train or tramway or, or, or uh, monorail or whatever transportation technology 
and so basically when there are rush hours uh, then uh, there are on the track structure or, or, or in parallel with the with the track structure that, that is being used by by the passengers there is a well a station or, or maintenance area where um where, well basically it's possible that many for example unibuses like here on this uh, slide on the left side you can see the unit strength technology that model is called unibus so there it's possible that in the maintenance area there are many 20 30 unibuses waiting and when it's rush hour then they will depart from there and start serving people uh, as well and when the rush hour is over they will go back to to the maintenance area for re recharging or, or whatsoever so basically it's 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 much more flexible than uh, driving around with empty uh, wagons or, or, or vehicles and therefore the passenger flow can can uh, rise up to 500,000 passengers per day instead with for example with monorail we have about 130,000 passenger per day yes oh here is one metro station and one uh, one picture of, of a subway as well yes uh, so this one is in Berlin located in Berlin mm, this technology on the slide at the moment and as you can see again these supports here are uh, after very short distance distances so about 15 20 meters there have to be a new support to hold the uh, track structure above the ground mm, but with skyway for example if we take it um, enough high up up enough high then we can even put the supports uh, well we can locate it uh, them after each kilometer or even more Mm, or even more yes hmm. so now hmm, yes so I will show you another picture Mm, this one is basically a tramway it's the same by technological parts but it's upside down tramway and it's possible to find it in China yes um, yeah this uh, technology itself I believe is one of the most popular ones at the moment which is being placed all around the world I have seen it in Vietnam for example in Romania as well in Turkey I have seen it myself and then this is basically a cable car but the main thing or the main difference between Skyway is that when Skyway models unibuses unicars have their own motor wheels uh, have their own batteries and they ride on a or under a track so the track stays the same all the time and the mm, models ride on it then uh, with this cable cars we have this uh, difference that the cable itself moves but the cable cars are located at the same place all the time constantly on the track structure so the cable cars themselves do not move they do not have any technological part which could well make them move no wheels no, nothing no engines there but the engine is located in uh, in the beginning of the road structure as you can see here on the right side the orange wheel and that one spins and uh, therefore the track moves or the cable car moves again many many negative sides here it's not that safe there are many accidents all around the world it's slow it's about um, 15 20 kilometers per hour the distance so it's more about the touristic uh, attraction these uh, these tracks here not for uh, not for uh, solving um, big problems in our today's uh, well society about the traffics all right mm, yeah here they are so bear in mind these elements as well what you can see uh, what you can see here in front and in the in the end of the models so basically those uh, cling to each other perfectly if something happens for example with one of the models then the other one can come attach uh, itself to the broken one and uh, either pull or lift it to the maintenance just a uh, piece of information here yeah it's beautiful it's so, so well in the city and, and uh, hopefully or it's quite possible that these first tracks 
also will be this first i mean the commercial tracks will be located in united arab emirates connecting cities or inside the city for example in dubai i know there is a there is a um, conquest going on at the moment who will who will get the chance to implement their technology and what i know is that china china's tactic is to basically pay for all the costs of the track and later collect the money from the t tickets uh, ticket fees or or, or whatever um, after work there has to be done so so that's what we have to uh, well <laughs> That's what we are facing um, if we want to implement our technology. So, the, yeah, because the costs, overall costs, are much, much lower than uh, all the other, well, similar technologies can offer at the moment. It's even cheaper uh, than a tram building a tramway, or at least very similar to a tramway. Yeah, one another picture here. Mm hmm. So um, now let's talk, talk about the seven reasons why Skyway is here to stay. First of all, it is innovative, of course, and then this we will, if we look at it, then we can already understand it and, and uh, the look of this support. So that one is called support. Um, what you can see here with this, with this beautiful golden strings on the right and on the left side. And that one is a tropical unicar. They're uh, riding on, on a string on a track structure and this uh, design was specially made for United Arab Emirates. But uh, what makes it uh, also innovative is, it, is that it has its own motor wheels, it has its derail derailment system, so basically if you put it upside down then it still perfectly clings to the tra track structure. There was even an accident uh, some years ago in Eco Techno Park in Belarus where a tractor uh, throw in front of the well the track structure so the unibus uh, ran into tractor cabin the cabin was demolished totally the driver uh, luckily well uh, went to hospital of course but lived and so it was a lucky accident but it showed us that the cabin of the unibus was a little bit off of uh, of its correction well way uh, but uh, it didn't fall off uh, everything well if there would be any people inside they would have been still there and the um, universe was capable to uh, move back and forth afterwards as well so it works and it's it's strong yeah, it's the same, and it was the same track as well where the accident took place. But uh, one another aspect uh, why it's amazing technology is that we can ride both sides. We can ride on top of the track structure and underneath it. So therefore, it makes it also much more economical and, and innovative because with trams, with uh, trains, we can use only one pair of the track for for moving one direction but here we can use both sides so that, well the upper side and the lower side of the track structure yeah so about the rails itself there are pre-stressed string uh, strings inside in a bunch of bunch of strings uh, the it's filled the metal body frame is filled with a special filler mm, and we can even take through these pipes, we can take electricity or fast internet connection to, to people in the surroundings. For example, in Africa, that would be uh, very important and very necessary to bring more electricity and, or more internet to the surroundings where basically there are none of those in some regions. Yes. Uh, so some years ago, I was able to go to myself as well in Eco Techno Park. After, that was the last event that uh, took place, uh, or was organized by the company. And, and after that, uh, it was the period of coronavirus. So I hope that uh, this uh, saga is finished and we can continue our normal lives and we can go there quite soon again in a container park all together, all the investors, because once a year it uh, took place where all the investors could go to to see uh, and witness all this all this technology, technological miracle by their own uh, eyes. 
and I even got the chance to ride with the tropical, uh, sorry, with the unicar, but you can see they're up high. It was about 50 meters uh, above the ground, so it was amazing. Just the surroundings and to see it all, it was, it was brilliant. So thank you again for that the company, and I wish many investors can uh, experience what I have experienced, uh, and quite soon also. Yeah, or maybe in the United Arab Emirates, because there I also have been twice, and it's also amazing uh, place. But the second point is, it is ecological, and it's it has many, many sides why it's ecological. First of all, it has no direct CO2 level emissions, um, because it runs fully on, on electricity. It can even um, produce its own electricity by solar panels or wind turbines that can be attached to, to the track structure or to the um, uh, mobiles uh, themselves. But here is one picture about how catastrophic is the situation in bigger cities and uh, how necessary it is to, to find new solutions that could solve these overpopulation problems or yeah, in, in cities at, at least. But these men with the, with the hats there, the yellow stripe hats, they are called pushers. And this place is took, uh, take, uh, has been taken in Japan. And basically these pushers are hired to push the last people on the train so they can, they can also go to their uh, final destination. But it's not very comfortable there. It's, it's totally packed. Let's see, so let's see. And then, uh, yeah, the overpopulation I have already mind mentioned, I wouldn't say that we have the overpopulation by the number of people so much, but uh, because the world is big, but, uh, but the problem is that um, people uh, tend to, to come more and more to the cities to find job there, to start living there, then they make um, family, they raise kids, then their kids grow up, they have necessary money uh, to buy them cars so therefore in developed countries almost every person who has driving license has a car as well and that causes new challenges again because as i mentioned before we just cannot tear down the houses to build new roads at least inside the uh, cities so therefore the the logical way is that we go to the second level and the another aspect what governments are suggesting and planning at the moment is basically park and uh, drive um, concepts where we go, for example, in Estonia, where we want to go to the Tallinn, the capital city, then in the suburban area in Tallinn, there, there will be um, places where we can park our cars. And from there, when we are in the zone, so to say, we will uh, take out our app from the phone, we will uh, set our final destination and then comes the first transportation system, which is autonomous, for example, uh, the buses, which in Estonia already are riding the self-trained buses, uh, which will come pick you up, for example, take you to the station where you can take the Skyway for longer route. And then the, the first part can, uh, repeats itself after we get off the Skyway uh, technology, for example, already inside the city, or we take an electrical scooter or, or bike or just walk. It depends. So park and drive is the concept and the smart cities what uh, are being developed uh, for the future. Then uh, back to ecological bars and why Skyway uses much less energy is another reason is that we have the shape, the shape of the body of these models are made to cut the wind perfectly. And the other, another aspect is that there is no screen effect, as you can see here on the slide. Uh, with cars, we have asphalt or the road underneath it, so there will be a um, resistance, of, well, the wind resistance much higher than with unibuses where the flow of the wind can go perfectly underneath it, so there won't be any obstacles there for the wind. Yes, that's the main uh, about that slide. And here, all these resource, resources that goes to that go to maintain and and hold these roads um, usable in different conditions in different climates uh, in different seasons so so therefore this much of this can be well uh, wouldn't be that necessary if we have another uh, option to construct new roads and uh, even 
maybe the yeah i think the one slide is coming which was already in my mind and when it comes then i will uh, tell you what i wanted just to, what i just wanted to tell you but the right here it is skyway so we can take basically where there are mountain areas uh, or forests we can take uh, skyway up to 100 meters above the ground of course it's much more expensive than taking it up to 10 meters but it's possible so we do not have to tear down the forests or, or uh, buildings to construct roads like here in Estonia they do mm, at the moment with the rail Baltic project they basically tear down all the forest in uh, which stays in the bath the houses they they bought for very cheap for, from from well normal people mm, just to tear them down and build and construct this uh, heavy road but for building new uh, railroad on the ground we have to dig first about seven meters below the ground to fill it with special filler so the track structure would hold on the ground so therefore it's it's enormous uh, amount of resources that goes on this one and that will be enormous amount of depth that uh, uh, our people have to pay for the rest of their lives and and the next generations as well at least here in estonia because this track never will pay itself off in in next hundred years but uh, in Scandinavia, for example, or in, in Central Europe, I know there are countries where there are a lot of mountains. So there is a special sector that, um, that operates this, uh, well, track structures in the mountain areas where they have explosions uh, to, to, well, to blow up the mountain areas to, to build, like here you can slide, build new tracks through it. Yep. All right, a little bit more we have uh, to cover today. Yes, here it is. So, so one Indian, um, one polit politician, he was a government a member of government in India, said that an eight-hour tri uh, eight tri uh, drive at the moment would uh, be about uh, 30 minutes with Skyway because just the route itself is so edgy and that and and uh, speeds are very low there to go mm, i cannot recall at the moment which track it was specific specifically but uh, but yeah well, if if you can compare it with estonia we have about from Tartu to tallinn with cars we go about two hours at the moment and with uh, skyway we can go up about 20 minutes from from Tartu to tallinn so much much faster if we use the 500 km per hour transportation system. Yes, here it is. And one similar track will be uh, built in Belarus at the moment over a lake where, where a different u light. this model is called u light, which, which will be presented there and which will be used there. And then that one is also for a touristic attraction mostly. So basically you can take your <laughs> Uh, fishing equipment and go there and open the doors and catch a fish <laughs> something like that but we'll see how it how it goes it's even it's absolutely fascinating to to see then today's last point to cover is the safety and we can say honestly hand on our heart that uh, skyway is absolutely safe First of all, this derailment system that holds us like a spider to the track structure itself is first of all very important. And the main thing is that we are above the ground, we are above the other cars, other people, buses and so on. So we have absolutely or totally new environment there and there is no traffic jams or, or whatsoever problems that uh, exist on the first level and therefore it makes it much more safer and then uh, purer to go yes mm. because it has its own infrastructure it has its own uh, well road structures yes here here are some pictures we already seen but with uh, safety we have uh, 360 degrees cameras um, or this laser that we use to constantly screen and measure and get information from the surrounding. So if there would be any obstacle on the way, for example, like the tractor I told you before, then today we have this already 
these uh, mechanisms or these uh, cameras and uh, lasers are already installed. So if this event would happen today, the tractor goes um, in front of the track structure, then the universe would automatically stop. And now even uh, more interesting is that if now the tractor would start chasing the universe and want to do harm to it, for example, then the unibus will start uh, backwarding or going uh, forward, depending on which way the, the danger comes. So therefore, it will be very, very automated and very safe and constantly well measured and screened uh, technology or the path at, at least on which they go. So yes, it's intelligent. And of course, in the interior, uh, for the interior, we have also these cameras. For example, if we want to cross the borders, we can, well, it's my ideas, but we can possibly show the passport or do the passport check via this, uh, well, via online, basically. There's no need for, for, for a controller itself. Just, just an idea. Now, yeah, this one already told you about these elements in front on in the back of these models which attach to each other uh, perfectly and can either pull or lift uh, the other one to the station if necessary if something happens for example with the batteries or for with a motor wheel or whatever reasons and if this is not possible somehow there well the distance is so uh, so big or, or the distance is uh, uh, well if there is no other choices for example left it's 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 very hard that it comes to this uh, this moment but if there really is no other models that can take us to the pot or something totally happens with the track structure then we have these um, safety equipments installed in the interior underneath our seats we can basically i show you the next slide there is you can see it better here these white mechanisms that go that, that can be attached in inside the cabin on well to the roof basically, and then we put these uh, straps around our waist and we can lift ourselves down. So this man on the slide demonstrated it himself and he perfectly did it. So nothing happened to him and it, it will um, make like this stopping just before we reach the ground. So it wouldn't, so it wouldn't be uh, like people just jump out of the and broke their legs or something, but, but it will stop it just before you know, we reach our ground and then we can uh, smoothly uh, take off the straps and we are on we are on the on the ground yes so and this demonstration you can see this was a video done by skyway member uh, skyway worker there in united our memory so it's possible to see it in your back office as well but now mm, this one comes uh, next time but uh, today we are in the end of our presentation. Thank you very much for coming. And this slide I always like to show you in the end of the presentation because here is Dalai Lama, the spiritual guidance and the spiritual name and person in the world who also gave his blessing to Skyway and to Dr. Antonio Nitsky. And he said that it's not an easy path you have chosen, but eventually everything worked out well and it's very, very needed, the technology you are developing. So we have this blessing here as well and all the signs otherwise show us uh, also that we are at the right time in the right place and doing the right things. So thank you again for coming to today's webinar and we'll see you again with you exactly in two weeks, the same uh, time, 7 p.m. Uh, European time. And then I hope I'll see you there uh, then again. But thank you everybody for coming and I wish you a great end of the weekend and stay strong, stay healthy and let's enjoy the summer. Bye.